Good morning, everyone. It's Chris from Solstice ATR as well as Axel. You can find me on the web, Twitter, Instagram, Discord. And remember, we use adaptive algorithm, which is solutions, to give us a bullish side, the bearish side, as well as the side markets. For all these instruments, we have updated our <clears throat> Twitter feed, as well as Instagram, as well as Discord, as well as YouTube. You can see the channel right here on the top corner. And once again, if you like this video, hit the smash button. Give us your comments as well. Share it with your friends. Used, we use this information for illustration use only and education. Remember, we're not a broker dealer. Our past performance doesn't give us indication of future results. Use it at your own risk. And that that may not be copied without requesting it from our website or giving us a call at the, our number. Hope this was helpful. Let's go to the second slide. And this was from the January 4th of 2023. And I had mentioned a couple of ETFs. Right up here, you can see them all up here. And uh, this is the futures. This is the ETFs that I put on the charts. Remember, we are in a new trend. There are different sectors that are doing well and sectors that are lagging. We have to pay attention to them. And I had given a couple of different ideas at the bottom using some of these equities. Most of them worked out very well, except Lockheed Martin didn't do well in the beginning of the year. Let's go to the first slide that I have up here. And what I wanted to do in this slide, we got to look at the 2023. Could there be a shift in the stock market leadership? Possibly. We have to uh, look at this video in an open mind, not being biased, and lo look at the leaderships that are working in relationship to monetary and fiscal policies by the Federal Reserve Board in the U.S. as well as the global markets. We usually trade what we see on the chart, and we do not have any biased opinion. And remember, if you have questions and you would like to learn, let us know once again. Let's go to the first chart that I have up here, and I have actually called the micro GC. The micro GC, you can look at GLD, which is the ETF for gold, <clears throat> or gold, or GC, which is the pure contract for gold in the futures. If I look at this on a weekly basis, we had this bottom consolidation three times. We were in a linear regression downtrend channel, which is a wedge. We eventually came out of it in December. We had this hammer that gave us some a clue that gold wanted to was baselining for a breakout secondly it formed one two three weeks side action and eventually in december it pushed up and i said to everybody hey pay attention to gold there's going to be a trading gold on the breakout of this chart and we eventually rallied from here on January to up here in two weeks. And if I do the distance in it, what we can do is go grab a line. We can grab this bottom from here on the breakout for beginning of the year to where we are. We got a 5.13%, which is quite a bit. And here it's showing me the percentage. What we want to do is make sure that it is off. Push OK. You can see now the price in the stock uh, or the, e, uh, the futures. Or the ETFs, you can do the same thing from here to here. You can see a 5.3 and 93 handles up in gold. That's quite a bit of return in GLD. So this way, you can figure out how to look at a chart and understand the Fibonacci's. And if you want to do the measured distance for the year instead of a Fib, this was the annual high from 2022 till the annual low in 2020. 22 and we can see where the consolidation happened right here and the breakout we retested the prior three-year range from 2020 that was a 50 percent that was a good consolidation and the breakout and you can see we have cleared the 50 percent right here on the chart and we are trying to clear the 61.8 if you have a regular fib 
reaching to 1963. Even if you do a shoulder here, right shoulder, then continue. That would be much, much better opportunity in gold unless it runs without the people that missed the trading gold in the beginning of the year. That's going right now to BTC. I'm doing it a little differently today, and I'm going to use the micro BTC, micro BTC, micro BT, I believe, micro BT, I'm sorry. The micro BT, you can see on the weekly basis after this, you know, wedge that was channeling, and eventually we had this breakdown. We have a gap here. We have another gap here. On the weekly, it was in a wedge. You can see that. It was coming back, contracting, and eventually for the last one, two, three, four, five, six weeks, it was side action. And this week was the only week that Bitcoin broke out of the 17,230. And I had called it in the prior videos and I said, pay attention to there because we can see the 18,300 and eventually the run up. And there's your 18,300 on the breakup of the 18 simple moving up because, you know, it was running down. Then eventually it'll shift back up. Now we're above the 18, but the 50 SMA is up here on the weekly. But we have to clear this candle in order to us to fill this gap up here on GC. If I go to the daily chart one, one year daily, you can see that I had this marker here. That was the consolidation. You can see a shoulder, a head, a shoulder, a breakup coming back, retesting, running up, eventually falling in this area. We had a couple of weeks range bound, couldn't get out of there, tried to look up and eventually failed. And in here, we were side action. And I noticed there was a lot of volume in that area. And this was a rounded bottom. So the breakout of the 17 to 30 gave us a nice rate of return in BTC. And what I want to do is go from here grab this candle here from the prior five days one two three four five day let's grab it from the middle of the range not even the top of it or the bottom of it and go to the middle of this candle that was a 15 percent in bitcoin and that was two thousand five hundred and seventy two point i mean basically two thousand points you could have had in BTC, which is, you know, the regular BT is $20 a point. So that's quite a bit. Even if you have one contract or an option on it, you would have done very well. Let's go now. I'm going to show it just in BTC because I have a lot of fibs here. And the reason behind it, you can see my marking here. And here's your breakout. And I had this area and I had these three ovals here to say this is the target. You can see we have not cleared the candle that brought us down those two. We have to come back into the upper distribution of this consolidation, break these two candles that took us down in order to run to the backside of this channel. Even if we consolidate here a little bit before pushing further up, that would be great. We have cleared the 18, but the 18 and the 50 has not crossed to give us a bullish indication on the daily chart yet. <clears throat> Let's go to the weekly again. And what I want to do is from here, go back to a couple of different instruments. We'll start with some ETFs and work our way back in the stock market to some equities. I remember when everybody was at uh, 60,000, oh, Bitcoin is good at 50, good at 40 good at 30 and eventually you know it rallied back up and eventually fell down and i had called that double top up here at the 67,300 and i said be careful of bitcoin it may be coming back down when he created this double you know like a crab pattern this is the eye this is the other eye it created a shoulder here you can see an inverted cup and handle um, or a head and shoulder and this area was the gap this area was the gap and we fell down and I had marked this consolidation. I said, if we clear this, we got some potential reversal in Bitcoin. Let's go to some ETF. I want to go to XLP, which is the consumer uh, staples. You can see in the beginning of the year, it's still range bound, hasn't been able to lose uh, sentiment yet we broke out of that consolidation we are holding the 50 simple moving average which is the yellow if you right click on it this is your 50 simple moving average my i use an 18 simple 50 89 is just for better testing but i use the 116 the 200 simple moving average if i right click on it it'll show you the 200 sma and you can draw a fit from high to low for the annual 
we can do a fib this time instead of doing the measured move because the, I use measured move for weekly distancing. And this is the Fibonacci on the fibs going back up because the 61 usually acts as resistance or support. If we can clear the 61.8, we have 78, then 100% going up. And you can have extensions like here. You can see the 23, 38, 61. You can have 123, 138. 161, 150. This will teach you to understand levels, supply and demand in relationship to consolidation and breakout. Remove drawing. Let's go to now XLU. You can see the utilities is side action, not much movement in it. If I go to XLI, you can see we are trying to break out. We're creating a cup and handle. This is what I call a cup, and this is the handle of it. And we are back in this consolidation up here. If we can get out of this consolidation and get a breakout, we look for the backside of this channel going up as well as the FIB for the annual chart from high to low. This was the January high. This is the uh, September 26 low for the year and you can see where there was the gap here which we filled a partial of it it didn't fill 100% and eventually we you turned back up let's take a look at JNK this is part of the bond market and I'm using this as an example when COVID-19 hit the par value of the bonds got really down to here we are in this consolidation if I zoom in this was the breakout that happened in April and we had that big bar pushing up. We retested half of it and eventually got the push up, came back in halfway, pushed back up, came back halfway, pushed up up. Then we consolidated for almost a year side action in the bond market where the interest rates was basically because of the Federal Reserve Board, you know, and um, White House keeping interest rates uh uh, at a level that eventually here they said hey we have inflation we have this we have that then they brought the bond market back down to where it started from you can see this is the breakout in march 23rd push high we retested it this is a shoulder this is a head this is a shoulder in order to continue we have to fill this candle this candle because these are three soldiers going down we have to make sure we can consolidate here and eventually break up in order to run out and this line that you have, see here on my chart this is an advanced decline line from the dmi directional momentum indicator that gives me the breakup and the breakdown this is the reason why that line sits there if i am above it and above the 50 sma i can see f3 which is a 38 F5 is the 61, 50%, and 61%. I do not have the 23 or the 78. Usually, I eyeball. Let's go to uh, some ETFs as well. Let's take a look at NYA, the New York Composite. This represents the majority of the New York Stock Exchange, and it shows us the overall market strength and weaknesses. I know we were overweighted in the tech sector, which I'll show a little bit. We can see after the, the January thir uh, 13 of 2022, we fell sharply down. We created a double bottom, tried to rally. The 50 SMA was basically a problem in the charts. We can see this is the first week the New York Composite is trying to break above the F6, which is a 61.8. Can we clear this candle? Can we clear these candles here on the weekly or do we consolidate, come back to the backside of this channel and hold the 116 SMA to run higher? This is our goal in the overall market, but we have to pick uh, the stocks that we want to buy, the ETFs, as well as, you know, in the futures and the commodities. Let's go back now. Take a look at one more. Um, the TBT in relationship. This is the long-term maturity treasury. Uh, bond the ETF for interest rates. We can see that it is inverted in relationship to J and K. If I look at this level here, remember we had the high here in 2019 and eventually we fell down. We double, we triple bottomed in 2020, double bottomed in 2020. In 2021, uh, 2021, we had a third bottom, then the rally back up because, you know, interest rates was 
uh, there was no movement in it. Then we eventually moved up because of, you know, inflation and stuff. We can see it's starting to settle. Think of this as a shoulder. This is the head of it. This is the shoulder. It's on an angle. If we lose this angle, we lose the 50 SMA, it opens up to F6, which is this consolidation here in this area where we got the last breakout in interest rates. That means interest rates will settle down. We have to pay to the fiscal policy and interest rates by the Federal Reserve Board and what the government is doing in the domestic as well as the global markets. If this is going to break down, if we're not going to you know, consolidate here, we'll see that the market going to have more opportunity and this will fall back in this range. Remember, this is for educational use only. Let's go take a look at now the combination of a couple of different stocks all together. And I will show Tesla separately here for one reason, because in Tesla, on the weekly bar, if you notice, this is the annual, this is a, a, a two-year, if you can see from here, I had pushed the, the Fibonacci. This was the annual low for the year in 2022, and this was the, annual high in 2022 i did not use the fib from the march 2020 to the high i used the regular fibonacci to show where the support was because this was the consolidation u-turn we had a lot of consolidation here and a lot of volume before the big breakout in tesla if you can see here this is an a very important pivot we are Still in a linear regression downtrend wedged Tesla in order because it had a downgrade on the weekly bar. We have to make sure. Let's just move this one out of the way. Activate drawing. We just move it here. We just flip it, edit the property, and just go to the right side. And this will give us an idea how to look at the weekly Fibonacci's activate. And you can grab it and pull it to the right and say, this is my weekly bar high and low for the charts. And you can see where the annual Fib, which is no longer here, we're going to activate it. The annual Fib is supposed to be this candle right here. And this is the reason why you have the Fib drawn from the high to the low for the annually if we can get out of this wedge and this is if you think of this linear regression channel in this one you have a midpoint here you have a 23 a 38 a 50 61 up if tesla can get some momentum it goes back up in the 200 sma in the back side of these three candles that board it down if tesla was still weak well it'll consolidate in here before it gets another move back up let's take a look at them as a combination aapl plus uh, Amazon plus uh, Google L. I don't want to put Google by itself. I'm going to put Microsoft. I've done this in the prior weeks. I'm going to put Netflix and FLX. I'm not going to put Meta and I'm going to put Tesla here on the weekly bar to show you that there is a change in the trend. We can see where the consolidation was. We know our annual low was basically here. Our annual high is here. I can do the measured move instead of a Fibonacci. I want to show it to everybody. We take this high here from this candle to this low here of this candle. We can see where our 23% is or the 25 and the 200 SMA. Do I want to see it back in this area where the green shadow is? These are basically a pivot uh, bullish sentiment, bearish sentiment. We are still in a bearish tone. You can see it says short and bearish on the weekly but we are entering the pivot in order to get a run up. And this is the first two weeks that we got two hammers. And the third uh, third one was basically a push up in the combination of those. Next week is going to be a short week in the stock market because we have Monday the holiday for Martin Luther King. So we have to pay attention if things are going to change or that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is going to be side action before the breakout or do we get continuation on light volume. So if I go to the daily chart, I want to show it on a daily chart. You can see we are coming out of this downtrend. You can draw a channel. So that way you know how to use it. This is a channel from this point to this point. And you can duplicate this channel down here from this point here. Even to this candle, you can see that we are coming out of a wedge in the charts. And this is a linear regression downtrend cone where it's getting stronger. It's touching the 50 SMA. We cleared the 18. In order to run, we have to clear F5 to get to fill this gap up here in the combination of those instruments. And usually I put these up here. And I had mentioned it last week in that 
video to pay attention to these levels and that will help you out let's go now take a look at the the es plus the nq plus the dow without the russell and i'll use the russell by itself we're going to go to the weekly chart on on the charts we're going to go time frame we're going to go five years we're going to go instead of a uh, daily we're going to go to the weekly push okay and the reason behind this, I wanted to show it. I know I have an ADX print here. Usually when there's consolidation, this is what we call contraction and side action and eventually a breakout, a reset, consolidate, breakout. Then I put, you know, these little resets. Usually you duplicate these resets. If I take the high and low for the five-year range, you can see the high and the low. When we came back here, we tested basically the February highs. This is the February 19th push down due to COVID. This was the March 23rd. April was the consolidation and the push up. Consolidated for a month and we got the breakout. Then we had the August, September, and the October before the November push higher. Then we got the December. This was the January 2021 low. We had the push to up here. On January 3rd of 2022, we had the high, and eventually we fell back down. And you can see every time we retested on the combination of those three, we tested the 50 SMA, couldn't hold it. Here was the breakdown, come back in, push up, couldn't clear it, fell back further, backside of this linear regression downtrend, tested it again, fell back down, pushed up in December, looked above, we saw it was going up, eventually fell back down. In the prior four, uh, four weeks, you can call this one, two, three, four weeks, look above and fail on the 50. And this time, this is the first test. We test the pivot. We're getting into the green cloud. If we can continue, we're going to clear F5 and F6. And you can see my Fibonacci from high to low, the machine, the AI, the adaptive algorithm solutions that we use for traders that are built by traders such as myself and others to help people trade what we see on the charts not what we think this is the weekly and if i go to the daily chart you can see that nice rounded bottom if this is considered a shoulder this is a head double head this is like somebody you know hit somebody on the head this is inverted got a little dent in it got the two shoulders break up tried to look up you can see we cleared this level but eventually fell down. We consolidated for five, six days in the following week on January 4th of 2023. We looked a little bit down, double bottomed on these two candles on the weekly and rallied up. Even if you took this bar from here on the daily chart, if I take half this bar or this breakout of this bar on the consolidation of this week's range, I take this area here to this area you can see you got a almost a halfway or you can go to here you can see we got a three percent formation and this was a nice move up in the combination of the s p 500 which is the spy the nasdaq is the qqq and the dow is dia or dj x in the ETFs form and that was a thousand five hundred points move in either instrument. If you took an option, an equity, or a future, you would have a nice return in the commodity. Let's take a look at the IWM. The IWM is the Russell 2000 ETF, and I'll show you the futures in the micro. We can see that the Russell did a very nice job, quite a bit of nice rally. After the consolidation for two days in the beginning of the week, this was the candle that broke you out. Let's say you took it. You didn't take this one. You took the Tuesday one from here to here. That's a 5.5% or quite a bit of move in the Russell 2000. That's a $9, $10 range in that push higher in one week this is a good rate of return and if i go to the rty or the micro 2k and we're going to go on the weekly here what i wanted to do on the weekly just show three years we don't have to go that far this is the march low this is the november high we came back down retested below the 50 percent this was the candle that took us this has a green box the green box that means the adx is taking higher 
the momentum in the DMI plus directional where the RSI, the stochastic momentum indicator, or the CCI was pushing higher. We consolidated for a year range bound. We tried to look up and eventually failed. That 50 SMA kept us slow. And eventually here we're trying to break out. You can see that the chart on the annually from the low to this high after double bottoming, we are getting a rounded bottom. We cleared the 50. Even if we consolidate back in the 1850 area, 1847, 1838, and we do hold, I think the Russell will eventually get to F3, F5, and the 116 SMA over time. But you have to look for opportunities on resets. Not, do not chase the trade because it can come back and bite you as normal. So let's go last but not least. I want to do show a couple of stocks that we told everyone on the weekly hey pay attention on them this was a double this is a top this is a second top this is a third top and i said pay attention to caterpillar breaking out i'm going to show boeing as well he's boeing it was in a linear regression downtrend and i said pay attention to this area the week before in december and i said hey pay attention if this is going to consolidate because you had a couple of weeks range bound and eventually break this linear regression channel and we got the push up in Boeing, I'm going to do MGM or you can do Wind Resort. Oops, MGM. We can see in MGM where we are when we looked up, came back down, we looked up, came back down. And eventually, the last two weeks, it's a rally back up in MGM or Wind Resort. You can look at it, all Las Vegas same. Uh, we're going to do AXP and I want to show Blackstone. You can see American Express. Had a weekly consolidation hammer, which is a little uh, like a doji or a star, which has had a li bigger little, you know, bigger uh, tail than the upper tail. Eventually, we retested the body in the open at the close of the scandal, and we pushed up. Did we clear the 50 SMA on the weekly? Let's take a look at uh, um, um, let's look at Baba. Some of some of the Asian stocks this week did very well i did not show netflix but we showed it in a combination you can see that push out of that linear regression downtrend this is why we use them we were in a wedge here you can see there was a wedge here if i draw a channel we eventually broke out of that wedge or you can connect it to here you can see that wedge breakout or connect it to here you can see where the wedge was out consolidated cleared the 18 even if you took this one or you saw this consolidation there was an opportunity for you to get in and the rally back up even if you got in here to here you can see you had a 28 percent or 25 percent in a 26 dollar range in that push higher in the sm in the baba let's do one more before we go and i want to show you bx blackstone I do call this in my room because I like it because it's not exposed to Asian market Blackstone in relationship to BlackRock or in relationship to Goldman Sachs. You can see that, that BX is starting now to push above the 200, touching the 18 SMA. It's inside that linear regression down channel. And if I take a look at BLK Blackstone, blackrock and blackstone you can see the difference in the push you can see that roundness the cup it's forming but does this clear the 116 sma clear the monthly on the prior month to push up this monthly should supposed to be here for december and you can see that round the top on the chart and this is the annual high to the annual low in the prior year in blackstone let's go to the s p 500 or we'll do the micro 2k which we did let's do the micro es and we'll finish it up here you can see on the daily we're coming to that linear regression downtrend we have the 50 sma on the weekly that we have to pay attention to f3 we just cleared do we clear this to get back to the back side of this channel and that with that we had in order to continue to f5 or do we consolidate before the second move higher and on the daily chart you can see it here showing us that nice rounded bottom but we still cleared the 200 we are above the 50 above the 18 but the 50 and the 18 have not crossed because of the prior week and a half here between december and january beginning 
January 4th, 5th, 6th, and eventually the 7th was the push consolidated. The Tuesday was a buy zone and look up and push higher. Do we clear the scandal? That's very important. I had this oval here because this is the overnight action. If I go to a four hour or 20 day range, and what I want to do is here go time intraday, go 15 days, go in a four hour chart. And you can see, do oh, it doesn't show it. We have to go a little further long, a little bit longer than 20, 15. Let's do 30 days. You can see there was a gap. This is the wick. This is the bottom of the candle. This is the overnight action. This is the open of the market. This is the gap in here. This is why I want to show the overnight is the gray area. This is why I usually mark them. We retested a portion of this on Wednesday. Then consolidated, came back in on Thursday, pushed up, fell back in, retested, came back down on Friday, and we U-turned and pushed back up. Does this mean we can continue to the upside? Possibly do we get rejection back here because this is the candle that took us down. We have to pay attention to the charts. Hope this was helpful. Enjoy your long weekend and hope to see you on Tuesday in our chat room. But remember on this this is where our website is. This is our contact, the main line. If you like this video, hit the smash button. Over and out.